most of the zoo's prized nation is being forfeited to a Northern Territory Wildlife Centre. For animals fighting extinction, it's a journey that could cost their lives. We're aiming to have uh, a zero fatality rate in moving animals out of here, uh, which would be a feat in itself nevertheless, that's what we're striving for. Yeah. Well, it's a bit of a tickle too. You think he's going to be in there, guy? Ah, uh, a bit early to tell. She should be in theory. As long as you can see the baby, it, it's all right, you know, if the baby goes out of sight she'll panic and try and go up the wire, but she knows there's no harm here. Yeah? <laughs> Be intimidated by this many people. We're all right. No, these two years as well. Well, well two and a half they came uh, out to yeah. yeah, these are in danger. They're the hardest of all the, the large cats to breed. <laughs> the Pearl Coast Zoo was built mainly as a sort of Noah's Ark, a place where creatures from around the world can be bred in captivity as a safeguard against extinction. Yeah, this is Olive here. She's a um, hand-raised blackback, otherwise known as an Indian antelope. I, I don't want her to be like this. I'd rather her be with the herd. Why is that? Well, because this isn't... She's not performing normally. You know, she's humanised. But when she gets... She's only young. When she's a bit more sexually mature, she should uh, infiltrate, integrate with the herd a bit more. If disease, natural disaster, or man's blunders wipes out a species in its homeland, the Pearl Coast Zoo will be a starting point for repopulating the wild. A safari-like experience observing some of the world's most endangered animals. One of Monato's newest recruits made an awkward entry into his new home. All right, steady boy, steady, steady. He's an oryx, a rare breed of antelope now almost extinct in the wilds of northern Zoo Africa. officials hope the park's location on major road and rail routes will catch the inbound tourist trade. Once word spreads about the safaris, they're confident a stop at Monato won't just be incidental, but the very reason some people visit South Australia.